Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Amazing Animals Inc. We have friends here today. Hello. We have the trackers. They are amazing supporters of Amazing Animals and they absolutely love our capybaras. We're so thankful for them. They sponsor our capybara exhibit and we've got a surprise for them today. They're gonna be the first people to be able to meet our baby capybaras. Oh, oh we're so excited. That's exciting. Yeah. All right, here we go. So the first animals that we meet during our tours are our reptiles. And Tim is holding Cypress, our little American alligator. What do you think? Pretty cool? Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, you want to see the little teeth? He's little showing you close teeth. up. Little baby teeth in there. Wow. He's just a little guy. He is. He's about a year and a half old. Almost two feet long, though. <laughs> this is a three-banded armadillo. So they both live in Brazil is where they're native to. And these are the only ones that could completely tuck their heads all the way in. Here, you guys want to pet them? Nice and soft on the back. There you go. And armadillo, it means armored animal. So they can feel you, but that keeps them really safe and protected from predators. It's, it's a ball. It's Look. a ball. Look, touch the ball. <laughs> no. Let me see your hand, buddy. Mm -hmm. So this is dill. Uh -huh. Is it a three-banded armadillo? Three-banded armadillo, yep. Native to Brazil. Look at that little nose going. I know. <laughs> Sniffing around. Wow. You got big long claws to dig up insects. <laughs> oh, bird, what's wrong? Did you, you have big to long do? claws to dig up insects? Yeah. No. <laughs> Making sure that we're sustainable and eco-friendly because that's a big issue happening in South America. You know, a lot of habitat loss and um, critically endangered means they could be gone in 10 years. You know, that's really soon in our lifetime. And so we think it's awesome to be able to let people meet her and learn about her and hopefully uh, go home and do a little bit of a better job, you know, making sure we're taking good care of everything and supporting your local economy nowadays too. You know, getting stuff from the local farmers and the farmers markets. It makes a big difference, you know, right where it comes from and uh, it helps everybody that way. I think she sees Jackson's puffs and she's like, wait a minute, <laughs> she totally does. I want a puff right now. <laughs> Jackson, puffs. are you gonna share? <laughs> Do you wanna give one? Are you to gonna share? Baby? No <laughs> sharing, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Mary Kate wants one. She loves puffs. Alrighty, so we are about to go into the capybara exhibit and Tim and Jen sponsor this exhibit They're amazing sponsors and um, we absolutely love them and appreciate them And they're gonna be the first people to get to go in and meet the baby capybaras I think they're only four days old today. So here we go Oh, oh, I know the baby right there. Is that like a purr? Did they make it's, like a purr? So they make a hump, like a hump. That's how they communicate. And they whistle. Do you hear all the birds? You know, they can pet Penelope if you want. Yeah, you can pet her. She she's like a big dog. Her back scratches. Whoa. Can you pet her back, please? And she's pretty cool. If you look at her feet, she's got webbed feet. She loves to go swimming. They can hold their breath for about five minutes in the water. Did you see that they have a pool over there? Of the day? Oh, puppy J. Oh, wow. Feel her, feel her fur. She looks like home. Do you want to touch her? Do you want to touch her? Nursing for you know a month or so, but they're eating it? more and more and more. Um, you sure by tomorrow, no, come over here. Come over here. Over here. He's more shy, so if you sneak up behind him, he gets so nervous. And oh yeah, yeah. I, I always do my mom's nap. Like, Did you do a little pet? So what do you think of the babies? They're adorable. They feel like they're 
a little bit more fearless than babies that we've met in the past. Yeah, I think like, they're taking after mom a little bit. Yeah. I love them. They're fantastic. I wish I could have them. Look at that! Oh, is that so funny? <laughs> oh, wait, I can't take it down in this you one. You want to get in the way. mud? Take it down in this one. You want to pat him? He loves getting butt scratches. Oh, oh, nice work, buddy. That was a very nice pet. Yeah. Like nice work. Oh, you want to pet this, pet this pig? Likes it whatever she can. Hi, sweetness. Yeah, now you're going to fly on you, too. Wow, buddy. You did it. You want to pet this emu? <laughs> emu? <laughs> he, said, he said, maybe not today. Yeah. That's a dinosaur, buddy. <laughs> Pretty much. Max oh, is buddy. kind of, Max is at eye level over here. Very gentle. Yeah. Hello. Gee, you're a good goat, huh? Oh, be careful, buddy. Hello. Are you petting the goat here? Hi. Oh, be careful. Let's pet him right here. Good nice goat. Nice work. That's a good goat. Not on the face, though. Right here. So that's a good goat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you eating my shoes? Said they're very delicious. You want a banana? Sweetness! Come get this banana, sweetness. Yeah. Sweetness, over here, look. I got the banana. Are you biting the shoe? Okay. Okay. Yes, buddy. Yeah. forests of South America so they get rained on a lot and they move very little so they'll actually grow moss and algae on them and that moss and algae creates a whole ecosystem for other little bugs so there's even a sloth bug a moth that has kind of evolved to live in sloth fur and they'll yeah. eat the algae and they'll actually lay their eggs in uh, the sloth fecal so kind of cool and yeah you guys can pet him you can see his fur kind of goes down around his back so how fun is he's so water running off of us you want to pet him, buddy? Do you want to feed him? No. <laughs> you want to feed him an apple? Oh, there you go. Watch feed him. Okay. There you go. Did you see him? He ate that Is apple. Is that your apple? You shared it with him. That was so nice. No? <laughs> no. You don't want it? No. You're going to let the sloth eat it? He said, I'll share. I'm nice. I'm a nice baby. Sometimes. <laughs> Do you see him? Yeah, they spend 90% of their life up way down in the trees, wow. eating and sleeping. Pretty right cool. for the sloth. Wow. All right, so that was an amazing day with the trackers. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, yeah we super had an, good time. It was awesome. an amazing tour with amazing, amazing animals. animals. <laughs> perfect, perfect. We always love having you guys out. Thank you for coming, and thank you for all your support. We really appreciate all you guys do for us. Uh, thank you guys so much. Be kind, be nice to one another, and as always, go out there and do something amazing.